Before this, I could do two laps around our kitchen counter or a little island and I was done chasing my kid. Patrick Holland given a new heart and lease on life. And when I get home, I'm going to chase the crap out of him on the playground. So it's emotional because I didn't have it. <clears throat> Yay! Bye, <laughs> Yay! Patrick is a father of seven from North Pole, Alaska. We first met Patrick when his flight was canceled from Fairbanks to Seattle during an unprecedented ice storm, grounding all flights in and out of SeaTac, ultimately losing an opportunity for a heart transplant. I think I cried more <sighs> that day than I have in my life and had exerted every emotion that I've never had. Fast forward a few months later and he's recovering in Seattle with a new heart. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. It's, it's like literally dying and someone saying here's a new life. But the road here has been filled with ups and downs. For Patrick, heart disease ran in his family and he was ultimately diagnosed with congestive heart failure at 39. After three pacemakers, major bypass surgery, and other procedures, he was put on the transplant list at 57. My life has been slowly taken away every every six months, every heart attack, every every uh, cardiac arrest. You just you lose another part of you. After missing the first chance at a new heart, he wasn't going to let that happen again, and came to Seattle in January to wait for the next call. And I got the, another call. And then it's like lay down everything and I told everybody, sorry, I got to go. And we got there and then that, that, that heart had a sickness. They couldn't tell me what it was. That would happen two more times. Then the phone rang again on March 30th. But the fifth one, he goes, you got an hour and a half to get here. This one is perfect for you. Doctor looked at me and he said, I'll see you when you wake up. And it was, it felt good. Uh, and I woke up. And I have this new heart and it's pounding with authority. Patrick had a post-op scare with internal bleeding and didn't think he'd make it. There's genuine happiness running through here. That's just, it's a gift from God for sure. And believe what you want to believe, it's a gift. <laughs> you know, it's a miracle. I'm going to help a lot of people with this heart. So whoever's out there, don't worry. <laughs> it's not wasted. In Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News. Just such an extraordinary story. Just makes you smile. And after his original story aired, he was just flooded with people asking how they could help. And that includes a person by the name of Jim Polzer. So he left his home in Newcastle and then moved to Seattle just to be Patrick's caregiver while he recovers for the next two and a half months. I enjoy helping people. I pay it forward. I've had a lot of people help me through my life. And this is how I pay it forward. People like Patrick. And Patrick will then return to Alaska where he says again he's looking forward to helping to care for seniors in need. So a lot of giving going on there. And get back to his seven children <laughs> who will be happy to have him home. <laughs>